Good evening and hello. And I was trying to assemble the CT, no, the XT Compact Flash IDE card, which worked sort of fine. A friend of mine helped me soldering this thing over here, the Compact Flash socket. But turns out it has a little problem. If I take the multimeter and put it into continuous testing mode, uh, we notice sadly that there seems to be a bridge between pins. Well, it's the sixth and the seventh pin here. Exactly, exactly those. And um, you can't see it here, but there seems to be a bridge between those pins that we can't get rid of. So, what I want to do is to retry on a blank board um, with just the socket and use extra flux as necessary. And the technique that I want to try out is to first tin all the pads with a thin solder wire. And I think this is still actually too thick, but it's the thinnest I've got. It's um, 0.75 millimeters, and I think. For SMD components, it's better to have like 0.5 or 0.4 millimeter solar wire. Uh, but still, this is already much smaller than my standard solar wire, as you can see here, which is much thicker. I think this is at least one millimeter or even 1.5. Not sure. Yeah, so I will probably wipe this off with some rubbing alcohol and then tin the pads uh, with a soldering iron and then put this on top of it and reflow the solder and hopefully it will attach fine. I will also add more flux before doing that reflowing and hopefully we don't get any bridges then. Yeah, so let's see if this works. Um, yeah, it's the first time I do this SMD style thing and I probably couldn't have picked a more complicated thing except maybe for an IC package or something but I should have started out with I don't know a resistor maybe but yeah here we are and we need this so let's get going Okay, um, uh, let's unplug the iron first, um, I think I got it. So what I did was to apply generous um, fluxer from this fluxer pen. Um, the solder that I was using is actually also containing flux, but the more the better is the general consensus on the YouTube tutorial so I tried this so I applied a lot of flux here then put um, the solder on with this broad tip soldering iron because this is more or less like yeah like losing iron for your clothes or something like that you can just swipe over it then you have too much solder on it uh, even with the flux it will not track to this very very fine pads so I used um, desoldering wick which is made from copper braided copper to remove the excess solder and after that I put the socket on made sure that the pins were aligned with the pads and put some solder on the left and the right there are some some pads there to hold that thing in place I will later also affix it with some screws but I didn't have any of that size but I will have some tomorrow okay so after that I applied more flux from the flux pen and just swiped down with the uh, soldering iron again to let the solder reflow and bond with the uh, pins and the pad and I just quickly had a check so there are some pins which are put on the same traces here like these for example 
so then it should make some contact here but the problematic one for example doesn't anymore but I still get good contact uh, on the pins on the other side which is also important of course that all the pins go through to the connector edge for the compact flash card. Yeah, this is pretty neat. I, I will also try to reflow this one here. Maybe with more flux I can save it, perhaps, hopefully. I don't, I'm not sure, but I can try. And otherwise I probably have to desolder this whole thing to salvage it. But yeah, we will see. Uh, so far this is it for today and uh, thanks for watching for this nice, hopefully nice, little video and I'll be back when this thing is fully operational and we can try it out in the PC.